Hey everybody, February 15th, what's happening in the world? My near-term future looks bright and the prospects are good, but the world is not well. Polar bears are starving, the stock market is rallying, and the National Archive just closed because two young protesters, one about my age, threw red powder on the Constitution demanding a clean air and water and a stable climate. Maybe they're envisioning some utopia, fantastical, dreamlike scenario where we somehow retrieve all of our money out of the evil stock market and reinvest in our surroundings and each other. I'm not certain. It's very dreamy. But there was another mass shooting, of course, as in every day in America, and Russia has some new space weapon now. They can attack other satellites. It seems as if every week there is some new threat or system which we rely on as such Bill Nye telling on CNN that Greenland was in irreversible decline and the AMOC running its news lately through the internet. I hope you're holding on to your dignity and sanity in this complete insane world. I had a young woman take an order yesterday from Dunkin' Donuts, you know, the one that has the commercial, the, the stonks go up, and Jennifer Lopez is in it, you know, Matt Damon, they're dancing. She said the order was stolen, and so I had to go and get a new one, because people are desperate, and newsflash, our society's in decay, and hollowed out from the inside. Have you driven around the city lately? She says she doesn't get out much. She stays home. Oh, well, go figure. Because let me tell you, there's four lease signs literally everywhere. Four lease, four lease. Uh, great clips, four lease, four lease. Target, four lease. Homeless people everywhere. There's no social cohesion. It's like the worst times in America, but the stonks are up. Okay, and I've never invested in them. I never made much money to invest in them. My investment has been myself. How do you, how do you have a fun life? Like it really, it kind of boils my blood. I'm gonna remain calm, but when I see all these, this FOMO market, this, these stonk, Abercrombie and Fitch, um, Walmart and Microsoft and all these big names, you know, brands, companies which have rights they're like treated like people and their stocks and all this money i could have made but i didn't do that my investment has been, been myself i think what do you do with your time you just sit at home and put your money into stocks and watch netflix that wasn't good enough for me like it reminds me of some poofy jacket you know investment bro which i'm trying to respect paying his money into an evil evil system let's not mince words here this entire thing is evil we're poisoning the land water our air killing wildlife animals are going extinct at a background rate faster than ever before um and there's no leadership you know no directive you guys voted you know is there hope for humanity most of you said no i don't need to reiterate the dismal prospect we have this is our last normal election cycle this is our last normal decade It makes you wonder, can this not crash fast enough? Because how much damage we're doing to the environment, to each other, okay? Mass shootings, environmental degradation, overshoot, phosphorus, you know, needed, that's declining, that's needed for soil production, like all these symptoms of overshoot, too, the complexity issue of too many humans on the planet. So you guys have been my support. I do this. I'm the the realist with you, doomers. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like you think people are going to the plasma donation center because they want to donate. 
you know, and make a few measly bucks while the company's making thousands of dollars off these little plastic tubes. Go, go there. I have seen things some of you boomers have not, okay? Because of this day and age, it's so insane that we put Mr. Beast on the cover of Time Magazine as the person that's the most watched. You know, let's bring um, that guy back on The Daily Show. You know, because everybody knows his face and he's funny. And he has a laugh track every five words he says. I can't, he's not entertaining. This dominant narrative. It's a, it's a ripoff. It's a counterfeit. I want a refund. And so... Don't argue with deniers, which is 15% of America, we found out. 15% of America, that's about 60 million people, still think that the physical reality isn't actually what it is. That are moved by some fantastical, magical thinking or denial that's, a, that's associated to their identity. So it's unbreakable in their political structure. This is what's happening in the world. Complete pandemonium with no direction. While the stonks go up, people continue to have kids. Okay, we can have a community. Maybe like 120 people max. What's that number? There's a name for it. I forgot it again. Excuse me. That's like the max number of people you can have without complexity, without it deteriorating. You know, a couple hundred people max. We're in the billions. With separate social, cultural identities fused with our politics and money into an inexorable, inexorable system. I'm, in, I'm saying my words here wrong. A spider web of, of things that you can't untangle. You're going to tell people to take their money out of the stock market and their IRA, you know, Abercrombie and Fitch. You're going to tell people to take their money out, stop watching Netflix, turn off Mr. Beast. It's living in the insane world. And you're with me. We're here together with my couple hundred viewers. Okay. This is a mental health day. I gotta get going, but but all of our vitals are off the charts from uh, January being 1.7 degrees Celsius above average. Uh, but Forbes is telling us it's okay, you know, net, net zero policies and, and every fraction degree matters. It means we just have to really fight for it, you know? But, but Taylor Swift needs to fly in on her plane and you know, the Koch brothers, they need to make their money. You know, Warren Buffett has those stocks you got to buy. It's enough to make your head spin and helicopter out of the fucking room. Just, I want a refund, okay? This is barely this capitalist system. And if you really take a good look at our evil empire, it's, it's, it's not worth it. Yeah, we have food on the shelves, but at what cost? No future? Civil unrest? Mass shootings? Plat microplastics in our blood? It's a great time. Yeah. Keep the stonks going up. Go sell your meat sauce. Keep the insurance in industry happy. Keep the pharmaceutical CEOs making moolah. Keep the stocks invested. The dominant narrative... This is what's happening in the world. An unstoppable monster. And an evil empire. I appreciate you folks. February 15th, hit like and subscribe. I rely on your support to keep this content and for us to have a community just somewhere where you can have sanity, right? Just for a moment, just a brief second. You can feel like, oh my god, I am not completely batshit, lunatic, insane, eating, sleeping, breathing in this man maniacal evil system okay in every sense of the word love is the root of all love of money is the root of all evil no the entire system is evil 
including the empire and everything that we do within it. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. See you later.